guys welcome back to my channel doesn't it feel like i just posted my april copic colors video i feel like i posted it two weeks ago but that was the beginning of april and now it's halfway through may and i'm not sure where the year is going so anyway this is the copic color video for may and i'm using the may copic colors obviously this month's colors are RV69, which is peony, R32, peach, and Y21, which is buttercup yellow, which is my favorite Copic yellow. I always get really excited when one of the Copic colors of the month is one of my favorite colors. Last month, I think it was last month, EO4 was one of the colors, and that's also one of my favorite Copic colors. Speaking of my favorite Copic colors, everybody in last month's video, when I asked about the videos that they wanted me to do, um, requested that I do a beginner's Copic video, I guess, like beginner's guide to Copic, so I'll do that. And I'm also going to do a video showing my favorite Copic colors because I've never done a video like that before. And a lot of people seemed interested in me doing that, so I will be doing those videos really soon. It's going to be hard to choose favorite Copic colors because I like all of them, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> so quickly before I go into talking about the coloring of this little illustration, I'm going to explain what the Copic color challenge is because every time I post a video about it I always get asked so I'm just gonna quickly say what it is um, this is a like I guess challenge I'm putting doing finger quotations but you can't see me um, put on by Copic marker and they select three colors every month and you're supposed to create an illustration using those three colors and then um, post it on your social media Instagram Twitter whatever it is that you use and use the hashtag Copic colors it's just kind of a fun thing to get everybody to try out new colors and do a bit of a challenge since like none of the colors they usually choose really kind of go together so it's really interesting to see what everybody comes up with using the same types of colors so that's basically what the Copic color challenge is it's just something fun that everybody can do every month and Copic always um, if you don't have the colors they sell the three colors in like a little set every month which is really cool so it's a good way to like start building up your Copic collection if you're looking to start buying them. They sell them in the little sets on the Copic website, which is cool. Anywho, um, this little illustration I had a lot of fun with. Um, she is a mermaid because it is still May, so mermaids only for May. Um, that's why she has kind of scaliness. I didn't want to do like full mermaid tail and all that fabulousness, but um, she is a mermaid, that's why she has scales. I really wanted to color hair <laughs> for this video. I was just really into coloring some hair, so I got to use that really dark, um, the peony is kind of like a reddish, like purpley. It's almost purple. It didn't really come off on camera very well, but it's kind of like a reddish purple, and it's just a really beautiful color, and I was like, I want to use this for coloring some hair this month, and so I did. These colors are really interesting to get to blend together since they are not even kind of close in the color range, color family at all. The yellow and the pink, they blended together really beautifully, but that darker color was a little bit interesting to get to blend. I noticed when I put that dark color down and then I took the peach color and blended it on top, it made this really just beautiful, like deep pink that I was not expecting when I blended those colors together. So that was a nice surprise. If you are doing this challenge with these particular markers, be warned that the lighter two markers, if you blend on top of the dark, the dark will transfer onto the nib of the lighter colors, but you can just wipe that on a piece of paper, which is what I was doing, um, just to make sure that it doesn't stain your marker nibs, because that's no fun and, you know. But that's what I was doing when I was um, working on this. I would just use another piece of paper and take that darker color off my marker nibs, because I didn't want them to get stained. I always like this challenge because it kind of gets me to use colors that I don't normally use. Um, besides the yellow, I don't really use the other two very often because they don't really match with the kind of work that I do. But I really like the other two colors and I think I'm going to be using them more often in my marker work from now on since I got to experience using them in a very limited way when I was doing this. It was really fun. I really enjoy these monthly challenges, challenges that... Um, Copic has and I'm really curious to see what next month's colors are going to be. Alright guys, so that is all I have time for for this week's video. I'm looking for ideas for videos, so if you have any suggestions that aren't tutorials, <laughs> please feel free to leave them down below. I'm just trying to think of some new content and stuff for you guys. Um, but yeah, 
feel free to leave me any suggestions or anything down below and let me know if you're doing the Copic challenge this month and what you're going to be doing with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!